What's up, Blender artist? It's me, Jack, with another tutorial. I already uploaded two videos on Blender hard surface modeling. This is part three. If you want to access my tutorial series, check my tutorial playlist in this video description. Now, without wasting any time, let's jump into the video. All right, in my last video, I gave you a task to join the cylinder into the cube. Let's see how to do it. First of all, go to face selection mode. Select these bottom faces of the cylinder. By holding control key, it will select all the connected face. Do the same to the other side. Now press E to extrude. Just move it until it touches the cube. Don't worry about the shading issue. You can solve them by sharpen all four edges. Everything's look fine. Now move the wheel all the way to the right side by pressing G. Make sure it not jump out of the cube. Here select the cylinder and press Shift D to duplicate it and move it to the left side. Check the two wheels are in symmetrical direction. At the center, it looks empty right. Let's fool this by adding a new cylinder. Move it up and place it between the two wheels. Now rotate it Y axis 90 degree. The size of the newly added cylinder would be one inch bigger than those wheels. It almost seems something robotic. Let's spice it up by bevel the two faces of the cylinder, just like this to look more defined. Here's where the leg of the robot starts to build. I'm going to add a cube, move it closer to the model. I forgot to turn on screencast add-on. Let me turn it on. NPW select the cube and scale it on x-axis, not too wider, just like this. Let's perform some cutters by enabling carver add-on. Zoom that in so that it's very convenient to cut the mesh. On your keyboard, press shift Control x to activate Carver add-on. By pressing Tab key, you can change the cutter type to line. I'm gonna start from the top left side, just like this, something triangle shape, and press Tab key to done the operation. Now do the same all four sides. I'm going to be fast forward here. If something imperfect or non-symmetrical, you can adjust few cutters once you feel good. Put all the cutters to the different collection and hide them from your scene. Then apply scale and also apply all the Boolean modifiers. Now go to edge selection mode, select all the flat edges and bevel them all. After finishing up bevel, now duplicate this mesh and scale it smaller and scale it wider on the Y axis because we are going to perform Boolean. Just go to Preferences and install Bool Tool add-on. What is Bool Tool? Why we need them? Bool Tool is a tool which can perform mesh into a cutter. This is the simplest definition. Let me dive more deep. By pressing Control, Shift, B, you can get access to Bool Tool menu. Here we have many options. You may be confused why the same options is being exist twice. At the top, we have Auto Boolean, these types of Boolean is non-adjustable, whereas brush Boolean is non-destructive. We can manipulate the cutters if we need. I recommend you to use brush Boolean rather than auto Boolean. Now we have three different operations. Let me teach you one by one. Difference Boolean is used to cut out the mesh. Let me teach you practically. Here I have a cube in the cylinder. Now I place the cylinder inside the cube. Now select the cylinder in the cube, press shift Control b and select Difference. What happening here is the cylinder is now performed as a cutter. You can see it's changed into wireframe. By select that, you can move and rotate and scale. Union is another type of Boolean which can be used to joining two mesh together. Let's say, if I want join these two mesh, I can done that by select the two mesh and press shift Control b but this time I'm going to choose Union. Apply the modifier. Now I, you can see each of them is combined. Intersection is another Boolean, which I don't use personal, but let's see what this actually does. Intersection Boolean perform operations with the selection on the unselected geometry. I hope you don't understand, but don't worry. You don't really use this option in your modeling journey. Next slice Boolean is of the final Bool tool. By using this Boolean, you can quickly slice through an object to create two new objects. After applying the modifier, this one mesh, and this is another mesh. 
Here I select the two model and perform a difference Boolean. Now it's cut the inner part of the mesh. Well, that's exactly what we want. Just apply the modifier. I would like to create something at the top. So add a cube by placing at the top of this model. Scale it down on the axis to make it thinner just like this. Next, scale it all the way up in X axis. Let me bring this to top. Now what we are going to do with this cube. Yes, you are right. We are going to apply difference boolean. We got something interesting mechanical shape, right? Now without applying any modifiers. Just select the wireframe cube and let me actually move it somewhere here so that we have some space on top. Then bevel the side edges to get really something smooth angle. Put the cutter to the hidden collection. I'm going to join the cube in the cylinder by extrude some face from the cylinder and pull it X axis and connect to the cube. Ah, we got shading issue, but it can be fixed by sharpening the corner edges by right click and apply Mark Sharp. Blender 4.1 Auto Smooth is totally trash. If you're missing the old Auto Smooth, check the link in my description. You can get access to the old Auto Smooth add-on. Just install it into your 4.1 version. Now let's join the two mesh by Union Boolean. What the fuck? We got again. But wait, let's see how to solve this shading problem. Let me apply the modifier. Nope, it doesn't work. Let me apply scale and add weighted normal. Ah, uh, this method mostly fix any shading issue. But unfortunately, it not work. Hmm, I'm going to add a manual connecting edges by using knife tool. Wait, what is knife tool? Knife tool is kind similar to cutter, but we have more control over the tool. In other words, knife tool is used to add custom edges to our model. Let's see how to use it. By selecting your model and go to the edit mode. So the shortcut for knife tool is K. You can also select it from the toolbar. Great. Now you can be noticed that your cursor changed to a knife. Be careful it's quite sensitive. By left click, you can confirm the location. If you accidentally confirm the wrong location, press Ctrl Z to undo the operation. Here's knife tool having great advantage. You can rotate the view while you're performing the cutter. To confirm the cut, press enter key. Now it splits the cube by add edge lines. I think these cross connecting edges cause the problem. I'm going to manual connect the edge as straight as possible using knife tool. We don't actually need this edge, dissolve the edge. As same as here, connect the line to this line and X dissolve edge. As on top, connect the line as straight as possible. Now I think it looks better than before. But that doesn't mean we need to leave it like this. I try to sharp the manual added edges by right click. But to be honest, it doesn't work. Then I simply select all the mesh and right click select clear sharp. Then go to the object mode and apply shade smooth by angle. Clap your hands, we solve the issue. Because in Blender 4.1, the shade smooth by angle will apply sharp as default. It's just a simple mathematics. Meanwhile, I run a bevel with one segment. Put the cutter to the collection and also apply the modifier. I'm going to make something like a connect points to the leg. So add a cube. Maybe we can place the 3D cursor somewhere here so that the cube will be generated as in this position. Scale the cube on X axis Find the best size and scale it your preference. I am going scale it down on Z axis. Now move it center of the cube. The go to the modifiers tab and add a bevel modifier. Increase the amount depends on your choice and increase the segments to three to four. By selecting the cube, go to the edit mode and bevel the four side edges, but before that applying scale. And then perform bevel. Select the top face and bevel with one segment. Reduce the bevel size to see more defined edges if you need. Just mirror to the bottom as well. Now add a cylinder at top of the cube. This is going to be attached to the body of our robot. So place it somewhere like this and G, Z. Move it until it fills the cube. If you feel it seems smaller, just hold the shift key and press S to scale very small size. Now shade smooth and go to the edit mode. Select the top and bottom. Control B to bevel. Now select face mode and again select top and the bottom press I key to insert the face, then Alt E to extrude along normal, just like this. Now let's get start building feet to our robot. First of all, 
Reset the origin to the center and add a basic cube. Scale it very small. Oh, sorry. I being working without screencast add-on, let turn that shit on first. Now you can see what key I pressing in my keyboard. Yeah, just make the cube taller and but skinny on Y axis. Move the cube to top, it's okay to be the top face is inside. Actually reduce the size to fit into the top model. Now rotate the cube on Y axis and press X, X to move to the rotational direction. Now go to the back view and move it to the left side, then apply scale because we are gonna run a bevel. This time, just select the two edge of the cube and run a bevel to get a round shape at the bottom. Quick note, increase the more segments for more smooth surface, but don't go too crazy, or else UPC may turn into microwave oven. Let's select the two faces and run a one segment bevel to bring that visually appealing look. Now press one on the numpad and go to the front view. We are going to create a hole inside it by using Carver add-on Dot just zoom that in for your convince. Now select the cutter's type to circle, but before that applying shade, smooth. Back to cutter, just left click and drag to increase the size and enter to confirm the operation. Put the cutter into cutter's collection and select the cube, duplicate it and move it to the right side. Check if the both are in symmetrical direction. Once you done, Add another cube and just scale it to your preference. It's overlapping to the mesh, so I'm gonna scale it down as well. I would like to make it wider on X axis. Then apply scale and go to the edit mode. Here add a loop cut at the center and scale it smaller. By selecting the edge, run a smooth bevel with six to seven segments. Next, select this two edge and also this two edge, then bevel these edges as well. Here's a challenge for you. I want you to bring the shape as you're seeing in your screen. You just need to extrude the middle face and make something like this screw attached to the feet. Complete the task. I see you in my next part.